Good morning, uh, everybody. At the outset, I must uh, thank and express my gratitude to Professor Arjun Das, Professor Velum Rijandran, and the members of the trustees of the Madras Neurotrust for uh, this honor and award that has been given to me this morning. I was actually a little surprised when I received Professor Arjun Das's letter a few months back saying that uh, I should be honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award. And I have been wondering what achievement I have met. Last night in my two and a half hours plane journey from Calcutta to Chennai, I was just wondering about what I have done in my life which can be called really an achievement. And uh, small, small things, some comments, some accolades, some incidences came to my mind. I think I am quite fortunate that from an early age I had the opportunity to interact with young people and that is mostly through teaching. And in fact I started teaching even myself when I was in the undergraduate classes started teaching anatomy and physiology to first and second year students and later on medicine and you'll be surprised to know gynecology which I knew quite well when I was in a higher class. Later on this continued to higher students, postgraduates, postdoctoral, etc. etc. And even when I was in UK for a number of years for my training, myself along with a colleague of mine who was a cardiologist, uh, registered in cardiology, uh, we started doing a kind of coaching sessions for people aspiring to appear for the MRCP examination. We never accepted a single penny from anybody, but the custom was that we will be entertained with a pint in the local pub after the classes are over in the evening. And that was done with full permission from the health authorities. This sort of interaction with young people, which also extended to my organizational activities associated with my, with the alumni association of my alma mater, the first medical college to be established in Asia in 1835. And then the Physicians Association, because before I was associated with the organizational aspects of the Indian Academy of Neurology, allowed me to have interactions with a lot of young people. And the, what I did through my teaching and this interaction is to create an interest in the subject of neurology and neurological sciences. That doesn't mean that I produced a lot of neurologists. Only a handful of these people probably took up neurology as a profession. But because perhaps of my teaching ability, my concept about the subject, my personality, my, you know, my closeness with them, they developed over the years a good number of people, a kind of respect. And a lot of them started looking at me as a kind of idol. They were not neurologists. They are there as surgeons, gynecologists, physicians, and all sorts of things, who now hold quite higher posts, professorial ranks, or even higher than that. But that feeling still persists. And I think that is my greatest achievement in life. More than the number of papers I have written, number of books I have written, number of orations I have given, but this is probably the best thing that I had in my life. Then there are small, small clothes from different people. I consider myself to be a sort of a jack of many trades, but not really a master of anyone. 
and one very famous woman disorder specialist, she is a professor in a very famous institute uh, down south, not far from here, when we were sitting together in a, in, in a meeting and I was cutting jokes with her being a woman disorder specialist, she said, somebody, in our institute we all know that you can swim in many waters. I thought that was something I will remember. A young boy, aged seven or eight, who is a son of a colleague of mine who is sitting here in the audience, I'll tell him about him later on, once commented, is Amar uncle like Professor Shanku? Now, you wouldn't know who Professor Shanku is. That's a creation of the great film director Satyajit Ray, who was also a good writer, and it was in children's books and stories. And this gentleman used to have innovative ideas, complex ideas to explain simple things, and simple ideas to explain the most complex things. What we used to do after our OPD and all these, we used to discuss my personal views, my personal theories about different neurological phenomena. Some of them have been published in a journal called Medical Hypothesis, which my son says that only mad people write in that journal. That's not true. People like Vyas Ramachandran also writes in that journal. And that comment from that little boy, seven, eight years old, that uh, he just meant that I am innovative, that's all. I think that is a good applause. And the last one I will mention is from one of my British uh, supervisor, John Pierce. Kailash should have known him if he were here. He was a very difficult man to work with. He was an extremely good clinical neurologist. He made a lot of contributions in the 70s and 80s in the field of migraine, Parkinson's disease. Uh, 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 dementias, etc., and he's 90 plus, and he's still publishing on history of neurosciences. But anyway, he was a very difficult man to work with, very demanding, very tough, and quite a bit sarcastic. Made me cry on the first day of ward round as a registrar to him, and I continued to remain his registrar for three years. But on my farewell day, when there was a party, he made one comment. Amber made me lazy during the days he was with me. I think that was a great compliment coming from a man of that stature and that personality, meaning that I have been sincere to my work. I think these are things I have achieved. In. They're nothing compared to papers, books, lectures, etc. So I'm grateful again to the Madras Neurostar, particularly to Professor Ajudas and Professor Velamuri Jandran and my two uh, great friends uh, here, Professor Natarajan and uh, Minakshi Shandaram for endowing me with this award. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.